Press. You are welcome to the press briefing organized this day by our platform Get Involved Nigeria Initiative in collaboration with Sight and Sounds of the New Pro. The press briefing is in view of our National Peace and Unity Symposium and Lecture Series that is coming up soonest. Our press statement goes to us. His Excellency, Bola Amitunibu, President and Grand Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. His Excellency, the Vice President, Kashim Shetima, GCO. His Excellency, Chief Dr. Gosfi Bugot Akwabi, President of the Senate and Chairman of the National Assembly. The Speaker, Federal House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, PhD. Secretary to Government of the Federation, Dr. George Akume. The National Security Advisor, Dr. Nuhu Rivad. Service Chief and Heads of Security Operatives, Department of State services, DSS, civil society organizations, religious leaders, traditional fathers, leaders of the 371 tribes and ethnic nationalities, distinguished peace-loving and patriotic Nigerians, ladies and gentlemen. I am pastor and comrade Iberidim Asians. The national team leader of Get Involved Nigeria Initiative. I count it a great privilege to address the press today on behalf of our ambassadors domain in the 774 local government areas across the country and our partner organization known as Sight and Sounds of Renewed Hope Group. What necessitates to our voice out in consonant with our mandate is the current ravaging outcry of Nigerian people, which are livelihood inconveniences that has successively been on the increase over the years due to our country's financial leakages, lack of security understanding, and cooperation between the people and constituted forces and agencies. Most importantly, the economic mis mismanagement by some government sectors. However, it is highly imperative to know that the Federation of Nigeria and our people over the years of strive for sustainability, growth and advancement is here to intensely embrace the one homogeneous country. This is because it widely different people, tribes and religions are still in the struggle to find a basis for true unity and common focus. Beyond the administrative convenience of northern and southern Nigeria, as amalgamated in 1914. The people at this journey of democratic existence should be poised to live above the name of our country and approach the sufficient basis for true unity, even as a race as a global society to achieve the stated goals of sustainable development, charting the course of national, nationalism, functional democracy, free and egalitarian human society remains on top here. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, it is sudden to state that our democracy has immensely witnessed drastic progress since inception and the just concluded 2023 general election conducted by the Electoral Empire Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has marked an irreversible pace in the journey so far. The electoral process which brought about the emergence of 10 legislators, governors, national assembly members, and most importantly, His Excellency, the President of our country, has recorded indelible distinction with attraction of positive commendations from international communities incomparable to the embedded historic flaws. Furthermore, it is on clever record that the new administration of Nigeria, led by His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR is 68 days as at today. 
it is also on popular note that the insecurity, disunity, lack of common understanding, and economic challenges of our country inherited from the successive past administrations are problems capable of slowing the swift take-up of, of development across the country, which therefore requires an intense problem identification, solution for actuality, and consultative reorientation of Nigerian people to refocus on the demand of the present day necessity that will help the government, corporate organizations, individuals on the drive to fix our country. Having acknowledged the challenges and demand of our nation, Nigeria, he captured our effort, Get Involved Nigeria Initiative, in collaboration with the Sight and Sounds of Renewed Hope Group, to propose the main edition of National Peace and Unity Lecture Series, planned as a symposium with the team National Security and Proactive Governance, a panacea for the culture of peace, unity, progress, and national development in Nigeria. It shall be an extraordinary and a must effect on the critical stakeholder of the nation, stakeholders of the nation. As proposed, it shall form part of the already identified moves of, the, of President Bola Ahmed Tunibu, GCFR, to give Nigerians the best economy, security, and consolidation, even as even as the build up to 100 days in office come, come May, come September 5th, 2023, draws near. We seek the approval of Mr. President for the event to be hosted by the Office of the National Security Advisor, being midwived by our organization. The event is built to bring the various people closer together, together and provide a firm basis for the other task of establishing a more closer, more closer cultural and social, religious and linguistic ties. Ties which are vital for true unity, economic renaissance, security, national development and proactive governance at all levels of the country. The convention, which is expected to be flapped out by the president, shall feature a, fo shall fe feature a focused three-day discussion to be anchored by distinguished personalities, social crusaders, head of security operatives and agencies, religious leaders, traditional leaders, ethnic, traditional leaders of ethnic nationalities to round off with a special banquet evening. The three-day lecture series shall have a delegate and compulsory participation of the following class of persons who are critical stakeholders of our nation. The president and vice, the president, vice president, and the interim serving Nigerian governors, national assembly members, reps and senate, service chief and heads of security operative. Heads of corporate organizations, which are going to be invited, they are going to be invited on string notes. Leaders of leaders and traditional fathers of the 371 ethnic nationalities, in the order of their state alignment. Religious leaders, former presidential candidate for the 2023 general election, members of the Interparty Advisory Council organized civil society, organizations, and labor groups, and others as the planning continues. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, Nigeria belongs to every individual Nigerians. And one Nigerian's courage forms the majority. We may not have gotten it right in the past, and now is the time. Get involved and don't watch. The press statement, the statement of this press, press correspondence, however, requests the endorsement, patience, constructive critics, and support of Nigerian citizens to this administration and for the successful planning and execution of this epoch making and historic convention. God bless our collective efforts. God bless our nation. 
Thank you very much. Meanwhile, as you follow us all, we have our website there, www.peaceandunitysymposium.ng. God bless you all.